Hi, hello everyone! Be very welcome to another week video and um, yeah, I am on camera, <laughs> yes! Just is on the level of exploration. Yeah, I really love to explore for one, two. I am on camera and this is a... Um, well, it is not difficult to me showing on a camera, but it is difficult to me be consistent on showing on camera and knowing what to tell often. But yes, I'm going to try because one of the things I, I've been telling you for those of you that are my subscribers for my newsletters that I want to be more uh, consistent here on YouTube and I love the platform is one of them. Um, I, I, I used to say that is my TV. <laughs> yes, I don't have Netflix. I don't watch much, much a TV, but I love YouTube. And so um, I think it's a great opportunity for us to connect even more and to share what we see, the, the art we make, the, the things that we, um, that I see and I like to share. So. I will try to be more consistent and to be here at least once a week, so it's my commitment. And for this week, as I told you last week, today I wanted to bring part two of the um, making tags with fabrics and featuring French knots. Um, because I th last, last week video was m getting too big, so... I thought breaking it in two parts and I bring you today the second part and by the way I wanted to tell you I wanted to thank you because oh uh, for all the feedback about uh, that video and the French knots um, sometimes we create something and we don't realize the impact it's going to be on other persons so I am so happy that you found uh, inspiration and uh, that it was a good tutorial so you can move forward for French knots because sometimes embroidery, like everything in art or mixed media, might be a little frightening at the beginning, uh, especially if we go from the point of perfectionism that, oh, I need to do this so very well and I never uh, go on that uh, degree or from that level. I'm always on the level of exploration. Yeah, I really love to explore. I really love to make things and if they are really messy and wild, well, guess what? I love it and if I don't love it, I know that I'm getting better as I'm going. So, I'll do it anyways. So today, today's video is about making this, um, this little tag and another thing that I love is that we can flip ideas upside down. Yes, this was, um, how can we call this, a placeholder, it's, I don't know if that's the name, something that was it is very beautiful, it's embroidery, um, and I just dyed with, I think, some uh, ink powders, and it seems like some, uh, a little bit of mossy thing, I just love the, the wild colors, so I'm going to make this one today, and another one, it's not with French knots, but a cool thing, a cool tag to add, on your journal to just make some embellishments because when we are opening our journals I like to see um, variations, dynamics, I like to to look, um, to get me surprised on a page uh, that is not only with paint or collage, so I like that. And I wanted to give you another tip that is, for example, I purchase, I'm always looking on fairs for uh, uh, embroideries or those antique embroidery pieces and I like to look on the stitches they have and perhaps using them on my own 
stitchings or for example for this one this is a piece like a piece like this i would have some paper buttons here and would be an amazing addition to a journal just collage or stitch on a page and would be amazing so these are just ideas um let's move on to my art table and I'm going to pass the rest of the video from last week and so we can just make these tags and add them on um, my fragments journal and yeah have fun I probably will do one of with these I just love this one here the spine here and just let me do see what could fit could fit here probably this this is another technique uh, that I share in the class which is the leather like paper buttons and yeah this too could be amazing here okay or in here yeah this part so I'm going to cut this on here uh, I'm just adding one probably because I'm going to stitch something here okay so let's take another one put these parts aside and I wanted this a little bit shorter It's good. I'm going to take this. Probably this is going to be big like this. Oh, it was not a good idea to rip this with my hands, of course, because it has these parts here. Okay. It's a beautiful one too. Just it could be. With the different ones. Yeah. But I also like these patchwork ones. But here I feel that is better and we stay almost with the same collection. Yeah. Okay, I'm just wondering if I will put this here because I really like this or uh, should I go with this mm, on another position? I don't know. Because I really like that... Um, that stitching part here so probably I will just do this this has a bright green that goes perfectly with this and this one has this part here probably I will do and it's not symmetric it's interesting because if I just yeah I like that so yeah I'm going to put like this Do you agree? Okay, if you were with me here, I could ask you, but yes. I imagine that you said yes. Let's see if this one, how oh, so gorgeous.
I love it this so much. How gorgeous. Yeah, we could stitch this on a page of a journal. I'm already imagining, and probably I will do that. Imagine here, let me see. Let me see. I could stitch here. Ah, oh, sorry, just let me open this. Just stitch here. It would be awesome. Or here. Stitch and it would be an amazing part for this journal. Or like here. Stitching here. And it goes perfectly. I love it. So let's do some French knots on here because we are featuring them today. And I just love. Probably it's not push because I think push is going through. Okay. It's a beautiful. And we can stitch more and then some more here and some more here. Yeah. You get the idea. How beautiful is this? So we have already our four ticks and I'm just making the, I'm going to make this one because it's beautiful. And I like that it has this line that goes from here through here. And I think on this one, I'm just going to stitch because it has already this and I think uh, only if it I could do this, but probably it's just stay like this raw. And I'm thinking, just let me see. You know, I'm always like, what if I stitch this on this? Like, yeah, could I do this like a stitch instead of a thread? I don't know if it is possible. Probably it's go. It's not going through the, the the tissue, but yeah, I'm just going to try. Let me see. Probably won't go, but that's okay. Unless I just, yeah, it won't go. It's almost, yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's going. And probably I want this from this side. Yeah. Here, and this one from here to this side, I'm going to make a lace. I want this in the middle because I want this. It 
just yeah we just um mix a little bit and it goes yeah how oh, awesome i love it yeah another way To stitch this I'm going to make this beautiful bow with an echo dyed lace thread it's not lace I know how gorgeous it is just this one is big yeah that's it how gorgeous it is so they are gorgeous to add to a page or let me see on this wood came here it's just great on here um and as i showed you uh before let me see another one yeah just look at this i hope you enjoy um the class for paper mutants the link is then in the description below and yeah take a look because it's packed with yummy things so enjoy and have fun we see you in the next video Bye bye. Have fun. Don't forget, fragments. Uh, the fragment journal is a free class that you can always take. You go step by step on the process of me uh, gathering pieces, little fragments that I love and that inspire me, and then I create from that uh, a journal that is full of little elements that uh, inspire us to create. So the link is down description below and have fun, be creative and never, never look for perfection. Just play and be happy. Okay, bye bye.